your hotel black options? So as far as pricing goes? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, so I think that you kind of have two, two major options. You can book with a courtesy block or you can book with an attrition rate. So the first one is that courtesy block. Um, and that one is going to be something that does not have a financial um, component for you. Sure. So they're gonna your rate might not be as good as it would with the other option, but it'll still be a discounted rate. Um, and you're gonna typically have a cutoff date, which is about a month out. So all of your guests will have to book by that month out. Otherwise, any rooms that were in your block will be released back to the general public for sale. So it gives you that option, and that's a great option if you're not sure how many of your guests are gonna book there, um, and you don't wanna be financially responsible for a certain number of rooms. So you just don't right. feel really, really confident that all those rooms are gonna book. You're also gonna not get as many rooms in your block. So typically it's gonna be five, maybe 10 rooms in that block. And then as you book that block, if space allows with the hotel, they will typically work with you to add more rooms to your block. So those are kind of the, the cons of that is that you won't have as many rooms to offer. Got it. With the attrition rate though, you're gonna be financially responsible for a certain percentage. So if you block at 20 rooms, you might have 80, 90% attrition. So you will have to, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna math, so you'll have to come to the for that, but you'll have to book a certain number of rooms, otherwise you'll have to pay that difference. Gotcha. So you can get a larger block, but you're on the hook for for that money. So you better make sure. It's kind of scary. Yeah, you better make sure that your guests book there. So you really want to encourage them. If you think you're going to go that way, definitely talk to your guests, you know, your close friends and family. Make sure that everyone's planning to book and at that rate and everyone feels confident with you with it so that you can make sure you're going to gonna hit that number. Yeah, so then which leads to the next question is like, how do you know which one's right for you? Um, I think it just depends on your guest count um, and who your guests are. You know, do you feel like they're gonna try to get a AAA rate or they're gonna wanna book their own hotel, um, then you're probably gonna wanna go with the courtesy block. If you feel like everybody's gonna wanna be at the same hotel, maybe your reception's happening there, so definitely everyone's gonna stay there and you know you need a lot more rooms than they're willing to offer for you, then the attrition rate might be the better fit for you. Okay, and you sort of related to that as well, You know, if you're trying to come up with, and I'm sure the hotel coordinators will help you get there. Yeah. Um, but how do you know how many rooms to block? I mean, if you have 120 guests, um, how do you kind of arrive at that number? So you would want to look at your guest count and you can assume probably two people per room generally. Um, so that helps to kind of, you know, you cut that number in half to 60 people and then look at how many of those people are local um, versus how many are coming in from out of state. And then, you know, how many of them you anticipate staying at that particular hotel. So if the rate, you know, is a middle of the road rate or if it's a high end rate, maybe, you know, all of your friends aren't going to want to pay that. Um, so you can kind of look at those options and definitely talk to your like close friends and family. Are they planning to stay at a hotel? Are they going to rent an Airbnb? You know, what are, what are those things that they're looking at so that you can get kind of a general count of how many rooms you think they'll need? Okay, perfect.